special edition of the Power 5 on Monday, all Champions League. Yes, I'll be breaking down five of the biggest matches in Europe's premier competition in soccer. These take place over the course of Tuesday and Wednesday, but first, a little housekeeping to get through. Record-wise, it's now a 156, 133, and 10 run with our free plays here on the show. Remember, we were able to get plus money prices on both teams to win the ALCS. I bet the Yankees plus 110 before the LDS got started. So small profit there. Also went 5-4-1 and one with college football plays that I gave out over the course of last week on the show. And then it was a 4-1 and one Sunday here on the Power 5. Almost a 5-0 and oh sweep, but the Jets stink. All right, now to the Champions League. As a reminder, at any time, you can comment down below with your thoughts on my selections. Smash that like button if you agree. I will not be liking any disparaging comments about the sport of soccer, though. So keep that in mind. Here we go. Number one, Bologna, Aston Villa, under two and a half. This match is 3 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. Now, the Italian side, Bologna, they have suffered only two defeats across all competitions this season, but... They've also only won once, and that was in Serie A against Monza, 2-1. to one. Bologna have really been the draw specialists this season. 7 of 10 matches, finishing level. They've also yet to score in Champions League action. A 0-0 draw with Shakhtar, a 2-0 loss to Liverpool. So we shouldn't expect many goals, if any, here uh, from them against Aston Villa, who, in addition to their best ever start to a Premier League season, are also 2-for-2 two two here in the Champions League, including that shock win over Bayern Munich. Villa also hasn't conceded a goal in either Champions League match. So it sounds like betting them win to nil might be a reasonable play, but I prefer the under. I just don't see a scenario where these two sides combine for three goals on Tuesday. Things could always end up 1-1. Staying on the Tuesday slate, I like Juventus minus 118 on the three-way line to beat Stuttgart in eight Serie A matches this season. Juve have conceded one goal. And it came on a late penalty against Cagliari. Uh, now the old lady, as we like to call Juve, was a bit fortunate this past weekend. They were down to 10 men, but got an own goal from Lazio for a 1-0 victory. And Juve have conceded in both Champions League matches. I, I, I concede you that. Uh, they also, though, here's the, 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 the uh, other part of the equation. Juve scored three against PSV and three against RB Leipzig. Both wins. And they were able to come from behind despite, again, being down to 10 men against Leipzig. So the Italian side can beat you in a variety of ways. And I like them here against a Stuttgart team that really struggles on the back end. Gave up four to Bayern this past weekend. Conceded three uh, to Real Madrid in the Champions League opener. Then, even though Stuttgart controlled 76% of the possession against Sparta Prague, they had to sell for a draw. So this is a... Side that typically struggles on their travels as well. So I'm backing Juve to make it 3-for-3 three three to start the Champions League run. Another 3 p.m. start on Tuesday. So is this the headliner for Tuesday? And that's Borussia Dortmund against Real Madrid. A rematch of last year's Champions League final. Look, I know Dortmund is one of seven teams that has won both of its Champions League matches this season. And they've done so with a competition best plus nine goal difference. But this is a big step up in class compared to the first two opponents. Keep in mind... Domestic form has not been great for Dortmund. They're tied for only sixth in the Bundesliga. And that's despite not facing any, uh, really, of the top German clubs. Of course, all this baked into the number this week against Real Madrid, as is the fact Dortmund has never won in seven previous trips to the Santiago Bernabeu. Now, as tempted as I was to lay the minus one and a half with Los Blancos, let's go under three and a half instead. One reason I'm hesitant to pull the trigger here on Real Madrid they have El Clasico, a match versus Barcelona on deck in La Liga. Still no goals this season from Jude Bellingham. I just can't see four total goals being scored in this match. Just can't. It was 2-0 Real Madrid last June in the UCL final. Might be a tighter one this time around. Let's move to Wednesday. Dinamo Zagreb plus half a goal on the spread against Salzburg. 3 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. I think the dog, at the very least, can earn a draw in this one. Now, Neither of these two clubs have won yet in the Champions League this season, but it has been a disaster, an unmitigated disaster for Salzburg, getting outscored 7-0 by Sparta Prague and Brest thus far. So no way any right-minded better could back them to get a win here, even on home soil. Even domestically, Salzburg has been struggling. They're only fourth in Austria right now, could, and it could be even worse. 
They had to overcome a one nothing deficit in the final 10 minutes this past weekend. Now, I know Dinamo was routed 9-2 to by Bayern Munich in the first Champions League match, but they're not facing Bayern again here, okay? They should have beaten Monaco last time out. Uh, they were up 2 nothing late. Second goal allowed came on a penalty in the 90th minute. Again, I'll take a draw here, though, getting the half goal head start. Dinamo, they've scored 16 goals over their last seven matches. This is just a straight fate of Salzburg. Also on Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern, let's lay the minus one and a half with Inter Milan against Young Boys. This is David versus Goliath. Let's not overthink it. Young Boys, uh, they're going to finish at or near the bottom of the Champions League table. That's where they are right now. Uh, they've lost the first two matches, conceding a total of eight goals, five of those coming in the first half. Oh, by the way, they haven't scored a single goal in either match. And even against weaker domestic competition in the Swiss Super League, Young Boys have won just twice in 10 tries. So a tough mountain to climb here against the reigning champions of Italy. Inter put four on the board against Red Star Belgrade in their last Champions League fixture. Uh, they've also kept 10 clean sheets in their last 16 Champions League matches. Inter should be able to name the score here, guys. I expect them to win by at least two goals. Let us now go ahead and recap the five plays here in the Champions League I gave out. Number one, Bologna, Aston Villa, under two and a half. Number two, Juventus, minus 118 on the three-way line versus Stuttgart. Number three, Borussia Dortmund, Real Madrid, under three and a half. Those are all on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. For Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern, play number four, Dinamo Zagreb, plus half a goal on the spread against Salzburg. And number five, Inter Milan, minus one and a half against Young Boys. Again, comment down below with your thoughts and or questions for this week's Champions League action. One of the plays I've given out here today is my 4% best bet, which you can get at wt.buzz slash bp. Over the last six months, I'm number one in soccer at Wager Talk with a 62.3% win-loss record. Cash the under in Liverpool-Chelsea on Sunday. Now 44.3 units of profit. That's what's number one over the last six months. Profit always the most important thing. That's just in soccer. 44.3 units of profit. So doing very well. And if you want to lock in long-term, I've got some great news. You can get on board for the most action-packed month of the year, November, for just over $8 per day. $249 for 30-day all-access. This deal is going to start at 8 p.m. Eastern Monday. So if you're listening a little bit before then, just wait a couple hours and uh, check back WT.Buzz at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then you can take advantage. You're going to get every single selection I release for the next month. Not just soccer, but the World Series, NBA, college hoops, the NFL, and college football. And in addition to being number one in soccer the last six months, guys, I'm number one in college football this season. 12-2 and two, my last 14 CFB releases. What a deal this is. Just $249 to get down for the next 30 days. On that note, it's going to do it for this edition of the Power 5. Smash that like button if you, agree, if you uh, enjoyed this one. And until next time, let's catch some tickets.